Okay, Shabbat Shalom Varach, ladies and gentlemen, this week's parsha is Parshat Shalach. And uh, we find the terrible, terrible episode and the grave, grave mistake that 10 out of the 12 tribes, princes of the tribes of Israel make. We know Moses sends the Jews, the princes, the governors of each tribe of Israel to check out and spy on the land of Israel. On the 9th of Av, they came back with a very evil and terrible report that the land of Israel devours its inhabitants. It's, it's, they give two thumbs down. They said that it's impossible for us to conquer this land. And it's, uh, why did God bring us out of Egypt? And so on and so forth. So, so God punishes the Jews and the Jews unfortunately accepted this evil scheme and Lashon Hara about Israel. And they started crying hysterically on the night of 9th of Av, which became the most infamous day, is the worst day in history for all the Jews. All the destruction of the temples happened on that day. The world wars, the terrible part of all the world wars and Spanish Inquisitions happened on that day. So... God says, because the Jews accepted this evil narrative that the land of Israel is uninhabitable and they started crying hysterically, God punishes the Jews and He says in uh, chapter 14, Pasuk 34, God punishes the Jews and He says, for 40 days you spied, for each day of spying, I'm going to, you guys are going to have to stay in the desert till all of you die out. So that was the punishment that it would take 40, instead of going into Israel immediately, it would take 40 years for them to enter the land. The question, I saw a beautiful question, is if... One of the most important rules of the world is God works midah keneged midah, measure for measure. But this doesn't seem to be fair. How many days did the Jews spread this evil rumor? One day. But they got punished how much? 40 days. The Jews should have just got punished for one year, not 40 years. What is the exact calculation of God? So this gives us a very, very deep, deep insight into the source of Lashon Hara. See, Lashon Hara is not the main illness, spiritual illness that causes the people. The main spiritual illness is Ein Ra, Narganut, like the Chafetz Chaim says. When we are always negative and looking at everything, the cup half empty, every day of your life we're complaining, we're looking at everything in an unfavorable and detrimental way, we're looking at the downside. That's the breeding ground for speaking gossip and Lashon Hara and spending the negativity. So what the Torah is teaching us is that the sin of the spies and the nation of Israel was not necessarily the Lashon Hara. The deep-rooted cause is what God is punishing us for. And that is being ungrateful and negative and looking at life. See, God had, when they spied in the land of Israel, God had really did, done everything in a way to favor them that they wouldn't be caught by the inhabitants. But the terrible, terrible mistake, harmful mistake of the ten princes, thank God two of them, Yehoshua and Kalev, they fought against them. But for 40 days, the great, great, and holy land of Israel, they looked at it with very, very unfavorable, negative Ayn Ra. And may Hashem truly help us that in life, the main thing that helps us not to say Lashon Hara, the Chafetz Chaim teaches us, is judging every situation favorably. If we're out determined to just be full of hate, and negativity 
and looking everything in a detrimental and negative way, of course, there's going to be a lot of Lashon Har. So, may Hashem help us to realize, to count our blessings, Yehudi, to be a Jew, is to trust God, to always be optimistic, because we have to know God always has blessing and only good for us in store. And the true sin of the princes what was not necessarily the Lashon Hara that they did, that was the, the symptom. The illness was their judging God Almighty unfavorably and not trusting in God. And the main thing that will stop us from saying Lashon Hara is always knowing, trusting God and being optimistic and positive about life and always focusing on the good. Then there's no room for negativity and negative talk like Lakshan Hara. Shabbat Shalom.